Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Terrell, and today we're going to talk about how to make your home teacher business successful. So I know a lot of you guys out there went and you bought a DTF printer, a heat press, maybe a Cricut, and you thought, hey, you're going to make some side money selling t-shirts. And then when you actually got into it, you realized it's a lot harder than you thought it would be. This video is going to help you out with some strategies, how to make your home t-shirt business successful in a couple months. So the first thing I want to do is say this for the vast majority of people watching this video, you're not going to be that dude in Forrest Gump that got this smiley face t-shirt idea and made millions of dollars. It just does not work like that for regular people. And I'm assuming you're a regular person like me. So I think a lot of people watching this video might be a little like me. I may put a t-shirt on Etsy and that one design may sell one or two a month. And that's really not a lot of shirts. We're going to use that basic concept of selling one to two shirts of a design a month and just maximize it. And that's going to be the foundation on how to turn your unsuccessful t-shirt business successful. First, let's talk about three things I think you need to do before you start implementing my strategy. I believe there are three types of people in this world. First, people who are meant to do great things. Second is people who will do anything to get their way. And third, the rest of us, people who are just trying to improve their life day to day. So what I'm getting at is don't let other people's quick success stop you from working your way to be successful. It just might take a little more time, but eventually you will get there. The second thing I think everybody needs to do to be successful is adapt to your personality. Learn who you are, learn what you like and what you don't like, and learn what you can do to make yourself successful. I've learned based on my personality, success for me is a little bit different than other people. And some of you guys may be like me. Success isn't a nice car or nice clothes. I really don't care about any of that stuff. Success for me is a peace of mind knowing that if I ever have to leave my job, I'm straight until I find a new job. If a bill comes up, hey, I can pay for it. For me, success personally is just having stability and a peace of mind. So the last thing I want to talk about is turn your negatives into positives. I think a lot of you guys out there are like me. You got TikTok brain. You know, every week you got a new interest and this is where this comes in handy. You're going to use that. So the last thing I'm going to tell you is start turning your negatives into positives. Listen, if you're a toxic person, go ahead and make some toxic t-shirts. I have TikTok brain. Every week I'm into something new. One day I'm making pizza. The next day I'm searching up aliens. The next week I'm doing something else. But you know what? All those different things I get into can help my t-shirt business. So now instead of selling a couple shirts in one niche, I spread it out. I sell a couple shirts in over 25 niches. Now, instead of selling a couple of shirts in one niche, I sell a couple of shirts in over 25 niches. So each niche is bringing me in a couple of sales every month. And that has really boosted my business. So I decided the way to make my business successful until I get that one shirt that sells millions is just sell multiple shirts over multiple niches. And that's the easiest way. The next thing I did to increase my sales was modify my designs. If I have a design that could work in multiple different niches, I would just modify it a little and then make a t-shirt for that niche. That saves me a bunch of time and also put another product out there for me to sell. I want you to keep that in mind. You don't always have to create new designs for t-shirts to put them in new niches. You could just take one design and change it a little bit and apply it to different niches. And now you have another offering which you can present to your customers, your potential customers, and then they may purchase that shirt. So the last thing I did to make my home t-shirt business more successful was keep a simple inventory. I only sell two colors of t-shirts, black and white. The vast majority of people, they'll either buy black or white with me selling more black t-shirts than white t-shirts. I learned to understand my customers also, so I order more medium, large, and extra large t-shirts when I'm ordering t-shirts and my smalls and 2XLs, 3XLs, I don't order a lot of. I learned by only keeping two colors of t-shirts. One, I bring down the cost of inventory and I don't have to hold on stuff that does not sell. And the majority of my customers are gonna buy black or white anyways. And by having only two blank colors, white or black, that pretty much covers all the 25 niches that I'm in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope by using some of my tips, you start increasing your home t-shirt sales and start increasing your income. Guys, subscribe to the channel and go ahead and comment if you want me to do a tutorial on any specific things.